Welcome to Mail Store Tech Tips. My name is Dee, and today I'd like to show you how to move your entire Mail Store Server installation from one machine to another. With Mail Store Server, you can move a single archive store, its components, or the complete Mail Store Server archive to a new hard disk, machine, or network share at any time. In this video, I'll explain how you can move a complete installation to another computer and what you have to bear in mind. If you're replacing the hardware and operating system on the computer or server currently hosting the Mail Store Server installation, you're going to have to move your entire Mail Store Server installation across to the new machine. By the way, if you haven't installed the latest version of Mail Store Server yet, now will be a great opportunity to update the software. The first thing you need to do before moving Mail Store Server in all users, settings, and archived emails to another machine is to back up your data. It's up to you whether you use our integrated backup function or an external backup solution to do this. You'll find a tech tip video on the integrated backup function in the comment for this video. Also, please make a note of your license key. You can find this under Administrative Tools, Miscellaneous, License Management in the Mail Store Client. Now, stop the Mail Store Server service via the Mail Store Server service configuration. Move the master database that is located by default in C, Mail Archive, or is indicated in the Mail Store Server service configuration, including all of its subdirectories and all archive stores that exist on the current machine across to the new one. Make sure that you retain the existing directory structure. Now, uninstall Mail Store Server from your current machine. Transfer your Mail Store Server license to the new machine via our license portal. Install Mail Store Server on the new machine. If the path for the master database directory on the target machine is not the default path, open the Mail Store Server service configuration, stop the Mail Store service, and change the path for the master database so that it corresponds to the new directory path. If you've used the same product key as you had on the old system for the installation on the new machine, and you're using the product key as a recovery key, you don't need to do anything else in regards to archive encryption. However, if you've used a different product key for the installation, or the archive was secured with a generated random value, you'll need to reinitialize the archive using the old product key or the recovery key before launching Mail Store Server. You can now launch the Mail Store Server service on your new machine. Mail Store Server is now active on the new system with all the settings from the old installation. Finally, take a look at the start page of the Mail Store client to make sure that there are no error messages and that Mail Store has access to its archive stores and therefore to your emails. We've now come to the end of the tech tip. And remember, the comment for this video contains a link to our detailed online help where you will find step-by-step -step instructions on how to move your archive. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon.